Okay, we're looking at the Echo House site survey, the Android app. Correct, correct. That's called the uh, Echo House mobile survey. Echo House mobile survey. And so what we're looking at here is the Echo Home mobile survey running on Motorola Zoom, the uh, hot new Honeycomb tablet. And it's what it's currently now doing, it's testing the network against different kind of criteria. So it's performing active and passive testing to see whether you have enough signal and data rates. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, okay. correct. Okay. correct. Okay. Using just, just the Wi-Fi chipset inside the tablet. So this okay. is exactly how the tablet actually perceives the network. And, uh, you know, right now everything looks green, but we can see that the signal is kind of on the borderline here. So, so it might be a good idea to, uh, you know, up the transmission power a little bit or something. But what you can do here is you can select from different kinds of apps that your Wi-Fi network is going to support. So, for example, if you say my network needs to support voice over Wi-Fi, then the criteria will be more strict than with just, for example, email. And then we can see that, okay, this network once it's done its testing, we can say that it's actually not good enough currently for, right. the, for the uh, voice over Wi-Fi performance. But that's just a small part of it, what the tool does. At the bottom here, we have background monitoring. So if I enable background monitoring, and this is especially usable on a phone, so I enable that, I can actually close the app, I can leave it running, and put the phone back in my pocket, and when I, when I walk around, let's say, my facility, if there's a network problem, the phone will alert me. But if there's no network problems, the tool will run on the background, and it will just make scans every now and then, test the network. So you, you actually become kind of a mobile uh, sur surveyor yourself without you knowing it. And it's, a, it's a great great way for, um, you know, just as you walk around an office, you you happen to come across a rogue AP and it lets you know, or it lets Absolutely. you know when there's there's poor connectivity that's, you know, in, the, in this area that you just encountered. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And those, you know, rogue APs and those coverage holes may not be detected by your Wi-Fi management system because the APs are back in the ceiling. And this, this is the only way to really monitor your network from the client perspective reliably using a real client device. Of course, of course. So, so as opposed to a house site survey, where you have you know periodic site surveys every now and then this can be running all the time yeah and this this complements ECHO site survey really well because you can open up the site surveys in this program so Absolutely. we've got that we've got the map here as well right correct so so we have floor plan that has been uh, done with Echo House Site Survey. We just push it to the, this device and we can see where the access points are. Uh, we can see their current status is actually so. If I were in this site, it, they would actually start blinking with different colors depending on are the access points up, are they working, are they broken, all this kind of stuff. So. Okay. So, uh, so if you if you are if you are troubleshooting the location, you're going to open up the site survey and you're going to walk around because you want to check the the health of each AP. Okay, got it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's correct. And you can do it quite easily using the map. And the other use case for this is the map view is that if this is running on your phone, you have the infrastructure layout on your pocket all the time, so you don't have to go back to your you know laptop or desktop computer and, and check out from WCS what was the channel again, right. what was the right. MAC address again. So you can immediately have everything here in your pocket. Okay. And then there's the traditional, you know, list of access points. It shows you the uh, your connected AP, the rogue APs, your, yeah. your so everything that's right, going on. Because we're at interop right now, we see the interop A ends, mm -hmm. um, and these are all black, meaning good, and the rest of them are being considered rogues. Is that, yeah, is that exactly. what that is? Okay. So, so it looks at which APs, which network am I connected with? And then it looks at the other APs and determines, you know, these are mine and these are probably rogues. Yeah. So, so by rogue, in this tool, we mean any AP that's not a part of your network. Right. And um, can you set can you set threshold levels or alert levels based on this saying, you know, like, because if your neighbor's got Wi-Fi, you don't really want it to be a, set, giving alerts. Can you say, you know, only let me know if it's got a certain RSSI? Absolutely, absolutely. Great question too. So, so you can actually configure the max rogue AP signal right here, and you can disable it altogether. If your, let's say, your neighbor has a really strong signal right. in your facility, then you can disable it. But what I would do is just set up a good signal for the rogue, because you know, uh, if it's above, let's say, make 50 dBm, you can be pretty sure that this rogue is in my facility. I want to eliminate it. Okay. Now. Um, now, as far as exporting the data that you have done on this 
Android device, and it, and it works on phones yeah. too. Mm -hmm. But um, what what can you do with the data that you have now? Like so, with the data I have now, let's talk about import as well. So, okay. so you you can okay. take the site survey file directly in here. So so there's no con different conversions needed or whatever. So the site survey file from the laptop comes directly here. Yes. When it comes to exporting the data from here, what's relevant to export is really log. So this log reports and, and stores all the errors that have been detected in the network, whether when you were using the tool or when you were, when this was just you know running on the background and monitoring the network. And this so is with the threshold that you've set in exactly, this. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we don't store anything that's not considered an error. But when you run into an error, you can actually. Uh, uh, see the list of, let's say, errors today or errors this week, all, all throughout the time, and then you can dig, dig deeper into the single error, oh, see okay. what was going okay. on then, That's uh, very nice. the exact configuration, and you can actually, this being Android, you can even talk your own notes to this, and it will translate them yeah. from speech to text and, and so forth. And then how you export this is actually, you can email the entire log. Just like that, wireless. Just like okay. that. Okay.